Welcome to Attican Plays, Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. All right. Hi, this is Attican, and welcome to Series 4, Part 3. In Series 4, Part 2, well, I should say, of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Now, in Series uh, 4, Part 2, we uh, set up this plan right here. We uh, are working up here in this corner, right where we have a nice border with our Eastern Bloc and the Western Bloc. And we set up up, up here as we planned out in episode one so that we could get decent import prices and construction prices for everything we built both in dollars and in rubles so that we could maximize our money, our initial startup money. And so now we're gonna take advantage of that and build out this plan. And in episode two, we built the plan. This is a refinery. This will eventually be the input area where uh, trains come in and bring oil into the refinery. This will be the output area, export area, where the refinery creates uh, bitumen and fuel, puts it in these pump, in these uh, tanks rather, and then we will pump them into um, eventually trains to take off to sell at great profit. But uh, for now, we're going to use uh, trucks to do our exports. We've got a nice short haul over here to Smolya Savka, uh, uh, small town as I call it. So in small town, we can export to the Eastern Bloc. And we also, if we want to choose, we can import to Bereslav. Now, if you look at this, we're going to export, or excuse me, import our power from the Western Bloc. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. We're, we are importing, I hope I said that correctly a minute ago, we're gonna import power from the West in dollars, okay? Well, then we better have an income in dollars, so we will make sure that we are exporting some of our product here to the West, to Bereslav, so that we can cover the costs of our imports of electricity. All right, so, so um, and again, just quickly, we're gonna run rail between our main city, which is here, with all the amenities and services, and the refinery, let's just get going, you guys know this. Go back and watch the second episode if you want, and want to know what's going on. Now, my strategy here, you have to be careful with this. It'd be real tempting just to click everything and build, 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 build. You gotta be careful with the dollars because you wanna make sure you have some at the end. So I'm gonna try to build these big uh, infrastructure, uh, factory, what have you, in dollars to start with because we wanna make sure we have enough rubles to import our food and clothing and electronics and stuff that we're going to need. So we're going to build like the um, the train platforms and the uh, depot and and the uh, refinery in dollars. And what else do we want to do in dollars? Uh, that's probably enough. And we're going to build the town out, I think, in rubles to start with. So let's go with our shopping center. Whoops, I just hit dollars, didn't I? That's all right. And here is the mistake I need to fix from last time. I thought I was grabbing a pub when I built this guy right here, but it's actually a grocery store. But well, we don't need a grocery store and a shopping center. They're redundant. So we'll um, knock that one down and delete that road so we can have a clean shot. And we're going to put a see if we can get a pub in that spot. Pub. Pub, you go right there. Now, come on, pub, you need to fit, there you go, good job. All right, the pub will fit there. And let's just go ahead and put path like this, connect this, connect that. In fact, let's just, if it'll go, let's connect that. Mm, that's the school. We've got a couple people that can just come out that way. I would rather they had better paths. Instead of just a little mud pass. At least one good one for you. And let's put paths here. If we can speed things up a little bit, that would be fine. All right, so build those paths for rubles. And we're going to have to explicitly build, well that one's being built, is this one, yep, how about that one, 
Yeah. Okay, build that one. Build that. Build that. We've got those. All right, let's let that run for a minute and see what the paths look like. And I meant to, uh, by the way, start up the pub. I meant to, by the way, actually set off the Im the immigration on these, but I forgot to, and I'm not going to go back and rebuild them because I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and immigrate some people as we build these flats. Okay, we're working. We've got the refinery going up. We're starting to get that. We do need our rail. The track does us no good if we uh, can't... Uh, use it. Uh, can we sneak dollars in there? Let's try. And one thing to remember, uh, if you notice in the last one, I actually at the end, I switched from um, I switched from uh, electric to diesel here. And the reason is because we are producing the fuel right here. It would be super easy to run fuel over here. Keep those trains fueled up with the fuel that we're, we are producing. I can see another one of those things we need to build is the, our pipes. We need to build those two pipes right there because without them, we're not going to get very far. And this one is going to only hold the human. And this one is going to only hold fuel. So we'll have this one for bitumen, this one for fuel, and this later on we'll add a third and it'll be fuel as well when we really get this rocking and rolling. And we need all that power. We might as well build out our power because it's got to come. So these guys build all those power lines and without the uh, little substations they're worthless. So let's build that and Where's our next one there? And one last one down here somewhere. There we go. That that should power us up. No workers missing oil. Now, now notice our dollars. We're just about out of dollars. Now we don't need any of this. We do need the gas station. Because we're going to run vehicles. And we certainly need trains. So we're going to kind of carefully build this out after we have what we absolutely have to have. This will not work without trains, so I'm going to purchase a couple of diesel trains. And they're going to be cheap. They do not need to be 80, 97. It would be great to have fast ones, but that's a tremendous expense. We're going to go cheap twice. And we're going to go passenger. Whoops. Yeah. Passenger. Each one of them with a passenger passenger wagon, and we're going to set up the line to run from. Well, well you know what I'm going to do first. I am going to make sure I've got all my. Uh, yeah, I haven't built my crossings yet. I couldn't remember if I had or not. So we're going to go into railways, put bi-directional signals right here. Then we're going to do a little crossover do our little diamond uh, junction, like so. Then we're going to chain into that one way, and we're going to have a single direction exit out of it, and build that track. And we're gonna go to the other end and do the same thing. We're going to put in, <clears throat> pardon me, we'll put in bi-directional signals, Okay, and then we'll put our, our uh, diamond crossing. This is in a curve, so it's a little clumsy. We'll see how it works. So far, so good. Worked beautifully. All right, and we'll chain into it, and we will single direction exit out of it to clear it. And we'll also, wherever we're going to intersect with something, we'll follow my little Mashiki rules, and we will we will... We will put a uh, signal to come in and to go out and to clear it. So this one is to come in and this one, these two clear it. Over here, we're gonna come in here and we're also coming in here and we will clear it over the road right here. 
And that should pretty much do it. We could add a signal like right here maybe, going that way. That would be fine. We only got two trains. Let's build that stuff. Go. All right, we should have a train system. And now we should be able to set up lines for these guys. We want you to go here. We want you to go here and pick up workers only. And then we want you to go here. And we can actually start that puppy. We'll let it run till it gets maybe up here and then we'll start the other one. <clears throat> and we're looking at our money, we're looking all right. Do, do, do. Let's put in cinema, make sure we have one of those and let's get a couple more of these going so we have uh, some people. And go. Make sure we get at least one playground up early. Let's copy that route, make sure that one's ready to go, and he can start now. All right. And uh, money's good. Let's uh, build another uh, flat. And get our kindergarten going and our school. And I do want to get the hospital actually pretty early and make sure I get it. I do not want to start having decreasing health on these people. Notice our dollars going down there. Uh, we're going to bump this down to 10 people and make sure we have at least one ambulance ambulance to start. All right, so we've got a working hospital. We'll hold off on the fire for a minute. And now we go out here and we set up our exports. Are we getting anything yet? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe more important than that, we need to start getting some oil. So we're going to set up ruble import of oil. 40 tons. Go. No. And then we need tankers. We need oil tanks. This one is uh, 70 times 12. Uh, but it blows the rest of them out of the water. So we're going to run one, two, three, four. We'll run four over to the western block. So this one is going to go here and load the cumin. Wait till you're full, go here and unload everything. Start. And then we'll copy that to one more and have him go. And then this guy here can go to the go to the fuel. Load fuel to your full, go over here and unload everything and start. And we'll copy that route into that guy. And that should be enough export to uh, pay the power bill. Now we need to pay all the rest of our bills. We do it. Oh, look at this 200 workers. Wow. Wow. Love it. All right, let's get the export going to the Eastern Block to pay for food and clothing and all that good stuff. So let's try the same four and maybe maybe one more for fuel. But oh, and I've got some more we need too. So we'll say go here, pick up the cumin, go here, unload, start. And copy to that that guy. Uh, 
you start and then we'll we'll take this this one and say we want you to go to the fuel and load up full and export everything you got and go and we'll copy that one to that one and tell him to go all right so that should get our exports going and we need two more uh, trucks right away we need two more oil tanks all right this first one is going to go to the fuel and back to the the uh, our gas station going to load up with fuel He's going to go to the gas station and unload until he's empty. So he'll just stay there and unload until needed. Or at well, first he's just going to run back and forth until he gets this thing loaded up. Then he'll just sit there and wait until he's completely empty to go get some more. This guy here needs to go also to the fuel and lo load to your full of fuel and go to here to our uh, train uh, fueling station and also unload until you unload until you're empty go okay now the other thing I want to do with money while I've got it is we want to improve the roads where our main stuff's happening where we need speed where we would like to have speed and that's in these exports Oh man, uh, I meant to set that up as auto build. All right, let's go auto build roads. And let's do that same thing for our folks that are exporting to the Western Block. Give them nice roads to drive on. Eight workers. How did that happen? Now we got 70 on the way. And we're looking pretty good on the money. We can go ahead and get that going. We also want to get our fire station going. And we want one uh, fire truck. Level 10, level 4. We'll take one level 10 fire truck. Now we should have fire coverage for this whole corner of the map. Beautiful. We've been very careful to make sure we have roads uh, connecting everything. And I couldn't, well, th except this, and that's okay. I, don't, I l do not want it connected because then these uh, two vehicles are going to try to run off and get gas. And we do not want that. Notice everybody's moving around just fine. We don't necessarily need to have, we can build this, but we don't need to have um, uh, better roads for them. They can get where they're going just fine. And when our money's in better shape, we'll give them better roads and pretty things up. We can, however, give them some nice trees. We can do that, at least. Let's give them beech trees. And we'll try not to get this too thick. That's my one complaint now that they have. Oh, ah, what did I just do? Oh my word. I don't know how I got onto that, but somehow I managed to flip over and build a power transformer that was not needed. All right, so we gave them some trees. So what are we doing here? All right, we're losing tons of money but look at this, we are exporting to um, the Soviet bloc, and we are exporting to the, the Western bloc. We've 
75 workers in there. We've got more than enough trucks running. Okay, we don't need any passengers on here. We don't need any students. Later on, you can you can join in. We've got a functioning school and a functioning kindergarten. A cinema will staff it down to, to uh, three. And the pub, we're going to do the same thing, staff it down to three. We don't need then never that full. And this we're going to move, staff this down to, eh, let's go see if, how 15 works. That should work. That should support the population we have in here right now. And there's no reason we can't go back and get this last uh, prefab. All right, so we got all our prefabs. First one we build, are they getting happier? Yes, they are. Let's follow somebody. Oh, here's one. Oh, no, 85%. He's on free time. Good. And he's getting food and clothes. He's going to be happy. Good deal, good deal, good deal. All right, so we are improving everyone's happiness. They have everything they need except a university, which we're going to work on soon, very soon. And uh, we've got our delivery system working. We've got new uh, employees coming in. New workers. We don't have employees. We don't pay anybody. Uh... I wonder if we need more oil to be more efficient. I, I think we're going to bump this up a little bit. Let's, let's keep a little more stocked in here. Okay, almost 200 workers. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, what we're, what we're going to do here now is try to kind of fill these up a little bit. I want to have them up around 160 each with the money that we have because the more people we have, the more people we end up in the refinery, the more people we end up in the refinery, the faster these uh, trucks go back out and do their thing. And that's what we want. We want the trucks, and I could get that auto build off, that's dangerous, but right after I do this. Okay, turn that off. All right. So uh, the more people we can get in here, as I was saying, the faster we can turn that money around and the faster we can get these trucks out there exporting goods and making us money. So we just need to make sure that we're exporting enough to cover our um, um, power. So there's $17,000 and we are importing, import, Western Block Power, eight hundred dollars. So we're looking good. We're looking good on the um, covering our power, even making a profit, if you will. And we're doing well on our exports here. So we're off to a pretty good start. All those red numbers are ugly, but let's see what happens when we get into February and see if we can start making money. We could use another, I think one more truck to take fuel to the eastern block would be nice. So you, and we will copy this person, schedule, put it on this train, our new truck, and say you go, get to work. All right, now. That looked pretty easy, didn't it? Now, why was it easy? Because we already had the plan figured out. We already knew what these things, roughly what they cost. We didn't know how much track we'd have to build and what have you, but we had a pretty good idea. And we knew that re refinery can be a very strong um, economic powerhouse if you're getting the, uh, the exports, and we are. And if you can get people in there like that, 218 right off the bat, that's beautiful. 
and we've got this nice short haul over here. We have really cheap. The other thing, everybody wants trains right off the bat. Trains are my favorite. They're awesome. But when you've got a short haul like this, and you're not pumping this stuff out like every, ooh, 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 that would have been bad. I could have uh, cut off that uh, path there. But um, when you're pumping stuff out of a pretty good clip like this, decent production, uh, you can keep, keep uh, a nice flow of um, exports here. And we're not going so fast that they're stacking up here. We've got just a big line of trucks. It's very actually very efficient. See, there's two loading. There's, there's always somebody unloading and selling something. We're, we're sending people off to Baroslav. We've got a nice steady flow of traffic going to Baroslav. So uh, this is uh, not bad, not bad at all. And look at this, we are actually showing a profit. So now we have to be a little bit patient. Uh, it would be very tempting to just go build something else, but that's not much funds. Now I do want to, by the way, go into construction fairly early in, in this uh, playthrough, but I'm only going to do construction that makes sense to me. I'm not doing it just because you guys want me to do construction, uh, but I am going to do it because it makes sense, and it makes sense to build new communities with, with the construction. And since we're in hurry up and wait mode, and this hasn't been too awful long a video, I'd like to run this thing out through February at least and see how we do in February. And make sure that people are, are happy here. Look at this. Happiness is almost maxed out. Oh, 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 I forgot. And what we want to do now is take our money and bring in some immigrants. And we're actually going to bring in, we've got a good health care system that isn't overtaxed at all. And we've got a school that isn't overtaxed. We're going to bring in some less expensive immigrants from the third world. Bump that up to 60. Now, we'll get some uneducated people, we'll get some people that aren't feeling great, but like as I said, we've got a, a hospital system that works, we've got um, uh, a school that's not overburdened, so we can bring in some immigrants that don't cost us an arm and a leg, and we can get them kind of educated and, and healed up and out there working, and we'll get some good workers along with that that, that come in anyway. So. Uh, let us grab some more and let's just look to see. We got zero uneducated, 10, 20, 17 uneducated. So that was, I don't know how useful that is. I'll tell you what we'll do here. We'll bring in some more educated people. So we have work, people working right away. There we go, beautiful. So that's very expensive. That immigration cost is 48 and uh well not much from where is it 48 and 5. so but we should be able to recover from that and be making money on our uh, uh, exports to the east so we should be able to more than cover our cost of importing food clothes electronics and meat and covering the cost of uh, just the expense of having all this stuff. We're making our own fuel, so these trains are costing us very little. Uh, we've got enough export going to the west to more than cover the power, the cost of our imported power. So we're in pretty good shape. So I want to let this run out, like I said, till the end of February. And what I'd love to see is see this number recover and be green by the end of February, which I think it can make. And we'll, I think we'll definitely be green on the dollars. And um, let's discuss what we want to do next. What I would like to do next is set up some uh, basic construction over in here, close to Barislav, but not so close that we're all hemmed in here. We need some space because this is a great export area. And eventually we're going to want to run a train maybe around here and in or 
even across here. Now we'll probably run it around. It'll probably go around like this, around the city, and come in like this to the to Bereslav to export our our uh, fuel and bitumen that way. And then we're going to want to work our way. What we really want to do is work our way and have tracks going up this way, up the uh, up our uh, border, all the way up here to Molna, and then past Molna down here because this is this area in here as we know is a is a wonderful oil area there's plenty of oil in through here over here even down in here or well over in here actually so uh, we want to be uh, getting oil from over here and we'd like to set it up so that we're bringing uh, let's see can we do that yeah we could have trains that come down here bring oil into the system then go over here and load up with fuel and bitumen and export them at Molna and that way we would cut way down on their deadheading which means running empty they would be running uh, full of um, fuel from here going up to our original city and then they'd be running most of the way back with a fair amount of fuel and bitumen for export uh, in Molna there is a train there yeah and um, that might just work so, um, hmm. the question becomes, how many, what do we, what's the biggest gain we could make right now? And I think what I'm going to do to answer that is not just guess. I'm going to say right now, if you look at what we're getting, it looks like we're getting around a couple of hundred, uh, which is 40% efficiency. That's good. That's, that's good. So the question becomes, what would it look like if we were to get that to say 80%? In other words, if we could double the number of people going to work here. Now, what would it take to do that? It's actually not that much because all we would need to do, now we've already got these kind of where we want them. We don't want to get them completely full because we need room for people to move around or whatever. But what we could do is we don't need another full set of this infrastructure. We don't need another one of these because this is not being totally tapped out right and all we have to do is bump this up to add a little more employees if we do find that it's getting too full our, our pub is is not being tapped out our cinema has plenty of room for more people our hospital we can grow the hospital and bump up the staff and hire more and you know get more ambulances and what have you and more more uh, um, capacity and we've got the playground. The playgrounds are fine. They don't they don't need any help. Well, visitors waiting in front 25 and somebody needs to show up to work there. There he comes. There we go. All right, but um, so all we really need would be a, to build another neighborhood, the school and a kindergarten, because we don't want to overtap our schools, but a school and a kindergarten, and then the number of flats that we would want to bring up this capacity and add maybe another couple hundred workers, which would be a total of 600 workers. Each of these can hold 200, so about three more flats would really help us bump up the uh, production in that refinery. And then the question becomes, could we put three more flats within walking distance of this and all of this? <laughs> could we do that? We don't even need another neighborhood, do we? And I think the answer is a rather clear yes, we could. All we need to do is build a path. Like that. We got money. We gotta be we gotta watch the money now. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna put in the prefab but I'm going to turn off get citizens so all all that will happen when we build this is literally this will build and what I want to do is move that path okay we'll change the direction for you I want that path to go kind of right behind this playground right behind the hospital uh, 
looks pretty good. And oh, and look at all these dollars. <laughs> we can build our uh, new residence in dollars. If we put one right there, let's build those paths first, so I can, so we can see what's actually going on. So build those build those paths. Give us a residence right here. Build that path and let's see who this can get where this guy can go. He can go everywhere he needs to go. So there's no reason not to have him in there. And I said three more would do it, didn't I? <laughs> We go like that and put in another residence here. He should be able to get everywhere. He can. Beautiful. That's two. If we can get one more in there, we will have pretty much doubled the uh, output from our, our um, oil refinery. Beautiful. Build these things. 18, 13. We'll build in dollars because we're stronger in dollars right now. And let's start recruiting. Look at, well, look at this, look at this. We are starting to outstrip our deliveries. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, hmm. Want to get that train going as soon as we can, but that's going to cost some serious money to get that going. Hmm. Let's throw a couple more trucks. We have 359 and oh goodness, that's money sitting there on the table. All right, let's. I don't think there's anything we can get American. Now there's the harvester we want. Oil tank. What's this? Five for 50. Now nah, you're not. Well, for 70, much better. We'll do a couple more on fuel for sure.
This one is fuel to Barris. That's the western block. Here we go. Copy. And go. And go. So our original folks are up to a pretty good level. Our school's doing great. Our kindergarten doing okay. It has its moments when it struggles, but it's doing okay. Hospital. Might be time for another couple of ambulances. Oh, we're through February. And I probably spent all the money on immigrants, didn't I? All right, can we explain that loss? I think we can with 48,000 uh, rubles worth of immigrants. But we imported 85,000 rubles of oil. That's a lot of cost. We want to get rid of that eventually. But we exported... Hundred and ten, hundred and about one hundred twenty thousand in um, well, one hundred twenty-seven thousand in rubles plus fifty in in, in dollars. So we're, we're looking good, looking good, looking good. All right, let's wrap up this one right here. So in this episode, episode three, we built out the plan that we put together in two. We, we hatched the plan in one. We we put it out here on, kind of architected it, put it on the map in two, and now we've built it in three. We've got it up and running. We're making making very nice money on exports, and we've even grown our trees. They grow too thick. I, I, I wish we could wait. Uh, uh, never mind. All right, they're a little too thick. They don't look real. They're so thick. But anyway, um, that's probably my fault. So um, let's stop, like I said, let's stop right here, and we will... Um, Yeah, we'll stop right here, and in the next episode, we'll look at our plan for how we're going to expand that. We've got, once we get these built and stat and people in them and get all this kind of up and running, we will have pretty much what we need to keep this refinery well staffed. Uh, we don't have enough to have it up to 450, 500 yet. We will, though. We will. Or we will come pretty close to that. Uh, but we're going to do it from a distance. We're not going to get up too close and let that pollution bother us. So we've got our nice little town here. We're going to build off of this town and set up our university system uh, and construction thereof of some of the components of that uh, in our next episode.